U.S. equity capital markets revenue for banks is lower than it has been in more than 20 years. And along with the battered IPO market and flood of cheap funding for companies, all this has cut so deeply into the business of selling stocks that some on Wall Street worry investment banking may never fully recover. Joining us now to discuss is WSJ reporter Maureen Farrell. Maureen, great to see you. Can you, you put too. some of this into context for us? How much so far this year have banks made in U.S. listed equity deals? So it's around $3.7 billion this year. And that's well below um, almost every year except 1995. And then you adjust it for inflation, and it's even below that back in 1995. So more than 20 years, this is the lowest. And so what are some of the forces contributing to this? What are some of the ways that companies are getting cheaper capital, for instance? So it's really two things that are happening. I mean, as you said, the companies have access to cheaper capital outside the public markets we're seeing. Interest rates have been so low. Investors have been putting money into private funding, private equity. So we're not seeing very many IPOs. This is the worst year for IPOs since 2009. And remember what was happening in 2009. It was right. like an awful time in the market. And, and IPOs are a huge source of fees for banks, right, for huge. revenue, right? Exactly. It, it, some years, it's been as much, most years, it's been between like 20 and 40 percent of their revenue. This year, it's down to 15 percent. And why are block trades so important? Sure. So, so in the equity capital markets business, this part of the business, they have IPOs, then follow-on sales. So after you go public, you can sell more stock. Typically, it's historically been more of like you go out on a road show, you convince investors to buy your stock. With block trades, it's done totally differently. A bank says, hey, banks bid against each other to buy your shares at a fixed price, and then they resell it to the market that night or the next morning. So that's, they bid, you pay very little to do that if you're a company. Banks kind of bid against themselves to, against each other to do this. So they pay kind of the slimmest margins. They take on all the risk. Like say they buy it the night before the stock market drops for whatever reason the next day, they're left holding the bag. Right. On the flip side, they can make a lot of money for it, but it's you know, this very, very risky business rather than just getting a straight fee for selling stock Absolutely. for a company. And so why is this IPO drop at this particular time significant? Well, it's, I mean, it just is raising a lot of questions kind of all over Wall Street and corporate boardrooms. Like, is this, like, what are the public markets mean to people anymore right. when you have this really high abundance of private capital outside of the public markets? Do you need to go public? Debt's been so cheap and, we, and we're in this continued period of low interest rates that could change soon but are they going to go up to historical levels like if I can get debt so cheaply do I want to go and sell more shares right do I want to go into the public markets at all so is there anything that banks can or should be doing right now in light of this well I think what they've been doing is like offering these block trades which are pushing down fees I mean their response to it has been to kick up block trading it's that that's at the highest level it's been ever mm -hmm. this year so their response is, you know, in a way kind of cannibalizing their fee pool. So they're all going after more fees. But it's not really a long-term answer, right? Yeah. So it doesn't look, are there some on Wall Street saying investment banking is the business to get out of? Well, this part of yeah. investment banking. I mean, people, you're paid to be optimistic to a certain extent right. <laughs> in investment banking. And, you know, people say that, say, does, if Uber goes public, if Airbnb, if right. Saudi Arabia's oil... Um, oil fields, if they take their those public, this could change quickly. But as of right now, I mean, we've just ha we're in this crazy year where we've seen so few tech IPOs. We see all these unicorns waiting on the sidelines, all these billion-dollar companies that are still private, and they're, they don't seem to be going yet. Time will tell if this is just a dry spell or if this is something permanent. Exactly. Right. Oh, Maureen, thank you so much for that.